What's good beautiful people now today I have a tutorial again for you because a lot of you asked me how I do my position shakes the transitions and so on and so on so today we're gonna cover that as you saw in the preview we're gonna cover my position shakes and my transitions like subscribe and if you do enjoy this tutorials I may do even more of them so show me some appreciation and before I talk any stupid shit anymore i'm just gonna get straight into the tutorial all right so i chose those two clips here i'm gonna preview them really fast all right good enough and what i use for my composition setting in the advanced tab is the shutter angle on 240 degrees and the shutter phase on minus 40 samples per frame and adaptive samples are not that important unless you are using 3d layers then uh this should be your settings i guess all right, so before I do anything else, I of course do add motion tiles. I put the output width on 350 and also the height on 350 and also mirror the edges. Now, first I always do my transitions and then my position shakes. Now for the transitions, I need three nodes on every single of my clips and then we can start off with the first one. All right, so what I do is I usually like to play with the anchor point, so um, I'm gonna put the anchor point just a little bit to the left here and I'm gonna put the scale to 250 and of course I'm gonna time re uh, time remap what the fuck uh, I'm gonna stopwatch it and put it to 120 percent and then I'm gonna easy ease him of course and um, I use flow for that so this is the usual graph I use now I'm gonna apply that and of course don't forget the motions so this is what we have right now all right looking uh, pretty decent now I go somewhere to the middle maybe a couple frames to the left and then I also go to scale again and go to the last frame and just so barely it does not show any tiles uh, maybe 85 is pretty good and then i use a graph such like this here and i also drag it by holding alt till the end and now i go to the last frame and go one sorry one two three four five frames backwards and also put a scale to that and now this is pretty important i use again the anchor point and put it somewhere to the right and then I go to minus 50. Well, minus 50 is a little bit harsh, but trust me, if you have a graph like that, like this sharp graph, it does not matter. And of course, by holding Alt and dragging it to the end, we have a transition that looks like this. All right, let's go on to the next clip. So now again, I play with the scale. I'll also play with the anchor point. Since we did on the right side on the last clip, we're going to put it on the right side slightly. And then we're going to go ahead and put 350 here. And also we're going to check the time watch and also go to the end and put it on maybe 140. And I'm going to show you why for uh, 140. But before that, I'm going to put my graph into this. And right now... I'm gonna go ahead and put scale into the second one. I'm gonna need a, a fourth one for this. But yeah, go to a little bit, like two to three frames off the middle to the right side. And then I'm gonna go like maybe 85. This looks pretty good to me. And then I'm gonna do F9 and also put a graph like this, like straight up easy, easy graph we have here. So you have something like that. Now that I got this, I'm going to add another null and also go slightly to the left here. And then I'm going to put scale and also do that. Maybe like 90%. All right. And use the graph again I used in the first clip. And also again, one, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six frames because the video is a little bit, the clip is a little bit longer. All right, and then we're going to put that again to minus 50. Don't be scared because minus 50 is pretty okay if you're using a sharp graph like that. And then drag it to the end. And now we have something like this. 
now that we have the transitions out of the way let's go to the position shakes which are pretty pretty important trust me guys you don't want to miss out on the position shakes all right for the position shakes we're gonna go ahead and go to where the last transition uh starts like the the out transition and we're gonna put a check mark onto x and y and what we're going to do here is we're gonna go ahead and put that to minus 100 the x position and the y position we're gonna put that at n now we're gonna go ahead a couple frames forward uh, i think this is pretty fine like six to to seven frames forward and then i'm gonna put in 200 and minus 100 and also we're gonna do that on the back we're gonna go ahead and some frames backward like like that and then we're gonna go ahead and put in 200 and here we're gonna go ahead and put minus 100 and also we're gonna have a little bit of rotation we're gonna go ahead and press u on a keyboard so we see uh those i'm sorry are we gonna press r we're gonna uh <clears throat> time watch it and then we're gonna press the u button then we're gonna go ahead and also put a couple frames backwards and also change this to minus three maybe and then we're gonna go ahead into the middle of the clip somewhere like that and then we're gonna change this to two then we're gonna go ahead and go a little bit like let's say five frames maybe something like that looks looks pretty good and then we're gonna go ahead and put minus two and also of course use everything here and easy ease it now we have something like this all right this looks good to me and now for the second part you of course since you went into plus here you're gonna have to start uh with uh, minus on the other side so now we're gonna do the same thing here also go into position and rotation now press u and everything all right like x and y position we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna put that there and we're gonna start off with the x pos uh, position which is gonna be 100 and the y position minus 50 something like that we're gonna go ahead and go Mm, i don't know let's say a couple frames backwards looking looking good yeah all right now we're gonna go to minus 200 since we went into plus don't forget about that and maybe 100 and also here we're gonna go ahead a little bit forward um we're gonna do minus 100 and we're also gonna do something like uh 100 here and again for the rotation we're gonna go a couple frames backwards and put that to three we're gonna go to the middle of the clip we're gonna go minus two and we're gonna go a little bit forward here six five to six frames and we're gonna go ahead and plus two and of course don't forget to easy ease it <clears throat> and that's basically what i do for my position shakes and for my transitions um i hope you enjoyed this video um if you really want me to do more tutorials like this let me know in the comment section below subscribe like um hope you're having a beautiful day see you next time